What up, what up, fam? It's your main man, DJ Knight, and I am bringing you yet another exclusive. I got the Loot Crate Combat Unboxing. So get that out of here. You guys can see the Loot Crate logo. It's on. I am anxious to get a look at it. Man, I just know that there's some Blizzard goodness in here. There's some other goodness in here. And apparently, it's a return to epicness. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of the crates anyways, but you can't deny when somebody says, Hey, man, this is going to be epic you expect epicness so let us uh, get in here actually let me get something that actually is cutting something that I can cut because like a smart person I misplaced my Batman battering and I can't use it to unbox things until I find it again so hopefully I find it soon because that thing was glorious but this will do it did the trick so let's burst this baby open slide this over here so we can kind of keep it out of the way you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying Oh, I already like it. First things first. I mean, look at that nonsense right there. That's some Master Shredder goodness. That these <laughs> that's awesome. It's a Master Shredder like glasses and headset combo, and you can see like my Rainbow Six background in the background. Like, but that's glorious. It's like a Ninja Turtles Shredder shades, so you can be. Master Shredder. Turtles! I will get you! La, 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 la. N nonsense, nonsense. That's pretty boss. <laughs> that's, that's cool as shit. So let's, uh, let's keep this over here. As you can see, I'll still keep my Loot Crate, Borderlands, Mouse Pad, because that's a fantastic mashup that I'm already a fan of. Got my Razor Mamba Tournament Edition. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a Razor Mamba Tournament Edition. So let me place the Shredder shades right over here, so kind of keep them out of the way. Then we got this month's button. The November 15 combat crate. You can see the button and it's glorious detail. I turned the autofocus off so you see less of the nonsense when I put things up. Where's the perfect viewing distance? Right about there. Nice. There we go. So you can see the loot crate combat. Place this over here so you can see it as well. Next up, we've got. Oh, that is impressive. Look at. We got the Hunger Games Mocking J Pen. Holy shnikes. Made in China, ages 14 and up, 20, trademarked and copyright 2015 Lions Gate, uh, Entertainment Incorporated, all rights reserved, I don't care where it was made, who was reserved by, that is boss mode as shit. Uh, I look forward to uh, representing and rocking my mocking Jay at some point, like that's, that's just awesome. Uh, next up, <laughs> that's hardcore, we got a Blizzard cute and deadly series figure that's actually really cool. Uh, I didn't even know Blizzard was getting into the minis game. But uh, if we look on the back, we can see we've got Kerrigan, Arthas, uh, Savannah, Zeratul, a Murloc, Diablo. And this is Loot Crate exclusive Murloc, another Murloc, and an Arthas. So I'm sincerely hoping that we get the Loot Crate exclusive Murloc. But without further ado, let's, uh, let's burst this bad boy open and see what we got. See what we got. Show me what you got. I like what you got. All right, all right. Where's that? Where's that? Show me the opening. I always liked and disliked these packages at the same time. So let's see what we got. Let's burst this bad boy open and. Oh, I got a Diablo. I'm not even disappointed at not getting the custom loot crate joint because I got Diablo. Like, who doesn't want Diablo? El Diablo. Hola, me llamo es El Diablo. So, if you look at the detail on the Diablo, he's like, <laughs> he's got his hands up like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. All the horns, like, I like the stylization that they've done with them. Even the tongue has waves. Like, that's really cool. And it's rotatable, so it doesn't have to be like, it doesn't have to sit still on your desk. Like, you can sit him and then, like, rotate his entire body. And let's see what else rotates. His arm moves. But he's got the horns up. Well, it looks like his arms move, but I don't want to test it. It looks like his mouth moves as well, but that's not something I'm willing to... Uh, like, I'm lightly turning and nothing's happening, so I don't want to break it. So I'm not going to... But, either way, cool El Diablo. El Diablo. Mm. Hola. Alright, so we got Diablo. This is a very cool little... Toy. I, I, I like figurines like this. I don't know why. Like, I don't have room in my place for all of them, but uh, I like them. And oh my goodness, uh, 
Need I say more? Void Bobblehead. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. As you can see the Loot Crate logo on the side. Uh, Vault 111, so we're definitely talking to Fallout 4 here. Uh, Vault Take Industries. Each Bobblehead is good for 10 skill points for one statistic point. Increase may not <laughs> exceed level 120 skills or level 10 stats. Uh, by opening this package, you agree to ex you agree to exempt Vault Tech from all responsibility, warranted or otherwise, for any side effect or usage, intended or otherwise, of this product. All points are non-refundable and cannot be exchanged, so plan accordingly. Failure for this bobblehead to increase your stats is almost certainly your fault and cannot be held against Vault Tech or its subsidiaries. That that is literally how I would expect something to sound coming from Vault Tech. Uh, if you know the history of Fallout, you might understand that uh, Vault Tech basically uh, made all of the vaults, and there's like a handful of vaults that are actually vault. The rest of them are mental experiments, and that's why, uh, to me, that's part of the, the the joy of Fallout. So I'm trying to keep from like breaking this one open. I just want to peel this one for some odd reason. It just felt wrong. But let's see what this bobblehead is about. Let's see what this bobbly head is about. So we bust it open, slide it out of the packaging. He's got his face covered. Aw, snaps. Aw, snaps. Yes. Got that vault boy just wobble wobble. Let me see you shake it, shake it. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I'm a huge, huge fan of vault boy, so I think vault boy may just be taking Batman's place uh, on my desk because vault boy. But without him taking this place right now, I'm going to leave him right here so we can, we can chill in his glory and laugh at him nodding at my fifth year. Yeah, man, you suck. You suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you're garbage. Of course you're garbage. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. Alright, so let's slide the box into the vision as well. Then we got... Ooh! Ooh! We got some more goodies. These out here kind of like on the side so you don't see them all. The Gift of Geek from Loot Crate. Happy Holidays, Looter. At Loot Crate, we try to make our crates a special gift you'll enjoy. Use these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love with your geeky friends and family. Regift your loot to someone who will love it as much as we do, or as much as we love you, Team Loot Crate. And then they actually have some, like, holiday, like, you can't read them because my lights are ridiculously bright, but these are basically holiday tags so that if it, nope, you can see the date right there. You can see, like, all right, there it is. You can angle it and you can see some of it. Uh, it's basically um, gift tags. So if you don't want your loot, or you know somebody who might appreciate the loot a little more than you do, you can send it to them. <gasps> Ooh, all of the cute and deadly Diablo little features on a cool little magnet pad. And this is def it definitely feels magnet esque. So we're looking at Diablo. Oh man, all these characters. And then what they actually have uh, the primary. Word all about the programming Blizzard stuff. So we got Diablo, StarCraft, Warcraft, uh, and magnets. So you can put your love of the Blizzard all over your fridge. That is pretty freaking sweet. Loot Crate got a custom Street Fighter hyper looting comic. That is boss, and it's like wrapped. I don't even want to. I don't. I'm not even gonna unwrap this. Like, I'm not even gonna unwrap that. Like, it's not. It's it's like literally sealed. Like, I don't even want to unwrap it. Yeah, I don't want... Nope. Nope. Sorry, guys. I'm going to keep this one wrapped. <laughs> I'm not I'm not opening that at all. And then we got the custom Loot Crate uh, booklet as well that comes in every month. Every month, the magazine for the combat crate. We've got a lot of awesome uh, artwork on the cover. We see Master Shredder here. We've got a, uh, a Vault Dweller. we got a sniper up here on the top. Like, there's a lot of cool artwork. Uh, if you like art, you can appreciate it. And in the combat opener, hello and thanks for joining us. This month we're exploring the fun, fantastical fighters who take crazy combat to exaggerated arenas with exclusive items from Fallout 4, cute but deadly, and Street Fighter, plus a few more items, including something from the Hunger Games to help you combat boredom. Our features, our, our feature articles include an examination of video game rivalries, a look at kids fighting fi kids in fiction, and an overview of our YouTube channel course you'll find a description of all the products in the crate starting on page 18 keep fighting the good fight team loot crate that is very much yes so i'm going to open it up so that way we can kind of flip through it together 
Got some of the previous pictures from the previous loot crates, which is always nice. Then we got a uh, epic video game rivalries, which is obviously catered for you. Scorpion Sub Zero, Red and Blue Ash versus our Ash and Gary. Then we got Mario and Bowser. If you don't know who Mario and Bowser are, please learn yourself. <laughs> I'm sure there's a gamer somewhere that will happily fill you in. And this is basically uh, Loot Crate talking about their YouTube channel and all the, the cool content that comes out. Uh, then we've got the Mega Crate stuff that came in the Mega Crate. We've got a Mega Man helmet, a gigantic Ryu figurine, uh, the Collector's Edition, uh, Monster. Let's see, let me see something real quick. Mega Man helmet. That's a wearable helmet. Holy crap. Uh, and then there's a secondary helmet with a light up LED. That's a collector's edition for PS4 for Street Fighter 5. Uh, you get a Street Fighter... That, well, that statue is something completely different. Holy crap, even though the numbers are there, it's just like part of me didn't even recognize it. And then we got the Street Fighter art book, which is just pretty friggin' sweet. We got the Monster Hunter plushies, which is impressive. And then we got the games. Guys, games are pretty awesome. It's like a TV set. In any case, to put your console in. You can put your controllers and everything, and you can basically take your console to go. Uh, games are pretty awesome, so whoever got the Mega Crate is loving life. Then we got uh, Amazon Echo, uh, we got a Mad Cats, Street Fighter 5, Chun Li Arcade Fight Stick. That is impressive. And then lastly, we had li four, Limited 4 Edition Crate, or Fallout 4 Limited Edition Crate. 10 lucky winners got a Fallout 4 Crate with. Uh, let's see, rare and the exclusive Fallout collectibles and gear to for serious fans of Fallout series. Seven items, $150 plus value, currently sold out online. So they basically gave Lucky Looters Fallout crates, which is just glorious. Kids versus kids. It's talking about the kids versus kids in movies. An interview with Kyle Edwards. A long interview with Kyle Edwards. Uh, <clears throat> and then we get to this month's crate. So we're talking about the cute but deadly. Then we got the Fallout Boy. Then we got the Master Shredder sunglasses, Mocking J-Pen, uh, Hyper Looting Comic. Let's see what this says about this comic. What happens when actual Loot Crate employees team up with the heroes of Street Fighter to crush the sinister Shadaloo and save the world from total annihilation? Well, it must be Doomsday, but for whom? We're not saying, so we'll just have to read this original comic and find out. That's pretty impressive. They got their own custom Street Fighter comic. Uh, and then we've got the... Cupid Deadly vinyl figurines, and it actually shows all of the Cupid Deadly figurines. Uh, and basically, look at the back of the box. This one is the standard Murloc, so one of these is the custom loot crate Murloc. And I would venture toward the orange one because it's got an orange hover over it and orange loot, orange for the borderlands as well. So I'm guessing that's it. And we got the combat button, and we got the back, so you actually can see that it's pretty impressive. We got a Street Fighter in the back. Uh, bows and arrows uh, and nuka cola in the distance so uh, that's a wrap up of this month's uh, November 2015 combat crate I'm a fan of it hopefully you're a fan as well uh, I'll have the YouTube out soon uh, it should be not very long after the October video because I was a crazy person and didn't get the previous video posted so thank you very much for tuning in this is DJ Knight signing out for the Night Corps have a fantastic one hope to see you guys soon